Hi, my name is John Bachman. I'm the Manager of Education and Public Outreach at Stratford Hall in Westmoreland County, Virginia, and I'm sitting in the fossil room at my house answering the most frequently asked questions that I get when I talk to people about the geology and paleontology of the cliffs. So one of the most frequently asked questions that I get is, hey, what's the biggest fossil that you ever found? Well, there's no question that the biggest fossil that I ever found is a 30-foot extinct baleen whale. Now, baleen whales now are the biggest animals that have ever lived on Earth. So at the time when I found it, I didn't know it was a baleen whale, and I didn't know how big it was. Here's the story. June 3rd, 2013, I was accompanying two friends of mine that are scientists, Dr. Robert Weems, who is a paleontologist, and Brian Landaker, who is a palynologist. Palynologists study ancient pollens. And perhaps you recall relative dating. Well, they were there to collect samples so that they could practice relative dating on the pollens that they found in various layers of the cliffs. Anyway, they were ahead of me collecting samples, and I was sort of hanging back. It was a beautiful day. And when I noticed to my right a hubcap-sized bone sticking out about three feet from the base of the cliff. Now, I called to them. They came back. They got excited. I got excited. We marked it with a GPS marker and made some phone calls. We called the Calvert Marine Museum in Solomon's Island, Maryland. Now, the... Calvert Marine Museum's paleontological department is supervised by Dr. Stephen Godfrey and a colleague of his, John Nance. After they visited, they agreed that they would coordinate a dig to bring Lee, we would later name him Lee, out of the cliffs, expose him. So for months they worked and al alongside dozens of volunteers to slowly expose this immense seven-foot skull. Now, once it was brought out and loaded onto a boat and taken to Westmoreland State Park, there to be put on a truck taken over to Calvert Marine Museum on Solomon's Island, Maryland, it would remain there for five years. It would be prepped, cleaned, and put on display. But it was time to come home. So a few five years after he was taken there, Lee came back to Stratford Hall, and he now is in the preservation gallery, at the, in the basement of the preservation gallery, waiting for his turn to go on display at Stratford Hall. Now, the baleen whale that we discovered, or I found, or I saw first, was similar to a minke whale that swim in the oceans today. Baleen whales. Truly amazing. Biggest animals on earth. See you soon.